All right, man, week six and got the Falcons. They don't really got a whole line, so it's time to eat. Second and two, and the Falcons did some smart ass shit. They decided to take two pull blockers and double team this shit out of DJ Maxwell. Well, if you're gonna double team, you better double team the whole game. Coming in to get his first sack of the game. And again, you better start double teaming him. Coming off that block, making him throw a bad pass is incomplete. It's third and ten, and even through the double team, splitting the double team, making the quarterback run out and throw a terrible pass. First and ten, bull rushing the center, and then getting tripped up on the center, but quarterback throws the ball where he's scared. It's third down. This is what you got edge rushers for. You see everybody comes off off that block and hits the quarterback, forces him to throw a pick. Second and ten, why I say about double teaming DJ? You better double team him, because if not, your boy going to get bull rushed. Another say. What in the world is this nigga doing? Third and six up three points and QB gets a little spooky. See these guys coming in, throw that ball. It's a bad pass. Incomplete. Second down, end of the third quarter, DJ Bull is a guy and then he basically thought, bro, that should have been a pick. But it's cool though, cause here on third down, the boy Josh Allen coming off that block on the edge and forced the QB to throw a pick and ends up going for six. And then again, Josh Allen having a great game right now. He stops the quarterback in the option. It's third and four up 10 points, and DJ Maxwell almost gets that, but he got a little route first down. Now, when it comes to stopping the run, this team is amazing. Look at DJ Maxwell coming from the middle of the field to make that big tackle. Third and seven, they did a pretty good job of containing DJ as they double teamed. He almost came off, but quarterback found a guy. But on first and 10, they decide not to double team DJ. He comes in and gets another sack. Jaguars win this game 13-3, continuing the win streak. Maxwell an amazing game. Three sacks, four tackles for loss, five tackles, and his teammates both had half a sack. All right, man, week seven, Titans week. It's a divisional rival. Derrick Henry, we're coming for you. Third and two, Titans decide to run the ball here. Derrick Henry breaks off a tackle, but DJ comes in and hits sticks. Then next drive, DJ comes down and hits sticks. Derrick Henry again, forcing the fumble. And Josh Allen picks that ball up and scores a touchdown. Easy scoop and score. Now up seven points, DJ Bull rushes this lineman and the quarterback gets spooked and throws a pick. Not a smart decision, my boy. First and 10, they're doing a pretty decent job of blocking up until the last second and he throws a bad pass, it's incomplete. Third and five, he uses go to the bull rush and pressures the quarterback, terrible pass again. Up 17-3, Derrick Henry tries to run the ball, but every time he runs the ball, DJ Maxwell is there for the tackle. Start third quarter, and somehow out of all this shit happening right here, DJ Maxwell ends up getting the tackle for loss. The Titans finally decide to act like they watched tape, and they decide to double-team DJ on this run right here, resulting in a pretty good play. Third and two, DJ's one-on-one -on -one again gets past the old line, but the quarterback somehow throws this dot. And then again, they don't double-team, he gets through, and the quarterback does not have time to make a pass. It's 4th and 14, this game is basically over, but DJ won more. He gets another sack to end off the game. Jaguars win this game in a blowout, 24-3. Titans didn't stand a chance. Trayvon ended up with a sack, DJ ended up with a sack, and Josh Allen ended up with a sack. W Trio. Alright man, week 8, the Panthers got a pretty decent O-line, but I guess we'll see. 1st and 10, winning 7-3 in the second quarter. Look at the bull rush to the sack. First sack of the game. Now when it's 10 to 3, hit a little finesse move, get back there to the quarterback again for a second set. Trying not to allow the Panthers to get any more points for the rest of this quarter. He forced the quarterback to throw that ball out of bounds. Coming out of the halftime, up 17 to 3, getting a little bull rush and forcing the quarterback to throw it in the flat. Still first down though. Showing off how versatile he is. He comes out in the coverage actually in this play and he ends up punching this ball out. And I'm pretty sure this ain't the first time he done punched the ball out for a strip. And this nigga takes this all the way. Never mind, because he want to start celebrating. But it's fine, though. I guess offense end up scoring that drive. They get a little pass. Not a first, though. Fourth and long in the fourth quarter. He's getting double teamed. Breaks the double team finally. Quarterback throws the ball up, and it's incomplete. Winning 31 to 3 in the fourth quarter. He's getting double teamed. Breaks the double team again. Quarterback has to get that ball out fast, getting it to the running back. Third and five, and that boy Trayvon Walker coming off that edge, hitting the quarterback, forcing the bad pass. Almost picked off. Should have been. Jaguars end up winning this game in another blowout, 31-3. to This is crazy. The pass rush all end up getting a sack each again. Maxwell with one and a half. Everybody else with one. Week 9, the Seahawks week. 
Let's dominate. Go ahead and set the tone starting off the game. Block shedding his stick in this running back. Then on third and ten, getting through this double team, forcing the quarterback to run and throw the ball. Terrible pass. They decide to run the ball to the other side and look at them boys stopping that run. Third down and DJ throws an old lineman down with one arm and forces this quarterback to throw a terrible pass down the field. Third and 12 and this is why this defense is too good. Look at both of the edge rushers coming off the edge and hitting the quarterback, forcing the fumble and get the ball, but look at that shit. Third and seven, still zero to zero. Quarterback got nothing to do, so he tries to scramble outside the pocket, but DJ ends up shedding in time. Second and 10, you probably shouldn't run up the middle even though he's being double teamed. DJ Maxwell gets the tackle. Up 14-0, to getting a little double-team action a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Quarterback scrambles outside the pocket. I think that's Marcus Mariota. Second and four, getting double-teamed again. DJ breaks out the double-team. Quarterback gets a little spook, run backwards and throws the ball, and it's picked off. And then DJ gets a stupid block in the back thing. I don't understand. Third and 10 up, 21 points in the fourth quarter. Quarterback sees DJ come from one side, so he runs to the other side and gets sacked. Third down, and they're back all the way up. DJ tries to come off this game, his first safety, but quarterback just throws it out. Jaguars winning another comfortable win, 21-7. to Well, this time, Josh Allen ended up leading the team in sacks with two, DJ with one, Lloyd with half a sack, and Trayvon Walker with half a sack. I right, man, it's week 10, got the Dolphins this week. Let's just hope our DBs could keep up with them fast-ass niggas. Seems like the Dolphins had a pretty strict game plan trying to stop DJ, but he still comes down and ends up chasing this guy down for this tackle, preventing the big play. Then on second and 10, DJ actually doesn't come off this block, but guess what the edge rushers do? They both share this sack right here. And when I said they had a game plan, they was just throwing people at DJ, making sure he couldn't get there, but that just opened up the lane for the edge rushers. On third and four, two is trash. He almost throws his pick six. That DB got to be able to catch that ball. First and 10, getting double teamed again. Breaks off the double team and ends up getting this rough in the pass. Hey, man, he going to make sure he hit that quarterback no matter what. But I ain't, I ain't going to lie, that might be a little bad because he might end up fucking up a couple games trying to just hit the quarterback getting rough in the passes. Then again, showing off why he the best run stopper in the league, getting his tackle for loss, making it fourth down. They're going to have to kick this field goal. They ain't no missing that field goal, so it's 3-0 still, and two of those, another pick. Good job by the DBs. Offense finally decide they want to score, so now it's 10-0. Two is under pressure, throws it to the flats, and Robinson ended up getting a couple yards on that. It's third down, and we do not want to give up anything long, but them boys is fast as hell, and for some reason, they was a man, so they end up scoring big here. Offense, we need something. Well, Trevor Lawrence ended up settling again. It's 10-7, and then DJ Maxwell ends up hitting the quarterback after the ball was thrown for a rough and a passer. But that didn't even matter anyway because they ended up scoring on that play. So Jaguars lose their first game of the season, 10-14 against the Dolphins. Offense, Trevor Lawrence, you got to lock in. Trevor Lawrence sold this game, throwing no touchdown but three picks. But not only that, this is DJ's first game without a sack, and this might be his worst game of the season. But even with this bad game, he still got about 17 sacks. So do y'all think he could be the next defensive player to win MVP?